Damn, it's bright. What's up, guys? Barefoot Hillbilly back here. And today, yes oh finally man we are building the f-150 now you're probably wondering building what do you mean man it's sitting right there it's already built <coughs> there is a ton of issues with this f-150 so many to the point where all i do is park it in front of my garage just to look sexy i don't drive it we're going to go over all those issues later on in the video but essentially finally we are starting the process of fixing those issues just so we can rock the piss out of it no other reason we don't need her as a daily driver anymore so y'all thought i was raw dogging my f-150 back in the day <laughs> Now that I have another dependable vehicle, anytime I take this out, it's going to be my goal to break something. Otherwise, what's the point of having another vehicle? I cannot wait to finally romp this truck again. I know a few videos ago, I took her out a little bit and I romped it. It's running so bad, it hardly spins the tires, so I don't even really count that. But once we fix all those problems, she's going to come alive. She's got 513 gear ratios in it. Oh, baby. Baby's about to be quick. Well, all the way up to 65 miles an hour where it tops out. But damn it, it's gonna get to 65 miles an hour fast. But first, before we get into the F-150, I'm gonna go over all of my plans for it, what I wanna do to it, all the things that I have to fix, which really aren't that many things. Just to be able to get it driving down the road again, not much at all. But before we go over that, we got some things to do with the house. Some of y'all may not know, but for about two three years now i've been remodeling this house back here i know a lot of people say yeah i'm remodeling my house no you're not you're hiring somebody to do it doesn't count you shouldn't feel obliged to be able to say that you should say i'm having my house remodeled okay because everything on this house i've done myself all the plumbing all the electric even installed a new electric box all the drywall removed all the old insulation put new in i put a new roof on it and because the roof was falling in there was holes all in it trees all the way around the house branches growing onto the inside because of that there was water dripping all over the floor one of the rooms is completely rotted out I had to rip all that wood out put new in new floor joists new sub flooring and then throughout the house there are probably 10 different spots that I had to do the same thing. Most of the old studs were all ripped out, put new wood in it, completely changed the way the house is laid out. I even feel credited enough to say I built this motherfucker. Honestly, it probably would have been smart just to tear the whole thing down and restart, but the very front part of the house right here, all this is an addition. Built in like the 1800s, bro. They don't make wood like that anymore. There's wood in that house that with my Milwaukee on full speed and the nicest deck screws I could find, I would <laughs> screw would break off. The wood cannot be penetrated. How the hell did they find nails to go in this wood back in the day? Not only that, when I was ripping all the walls off, back in the Great Depression, everybody was broke, so they used to put newspaper on their walls as wallpaper. And one of the newspapers that had a date on it, it was like September 1922. I thought that was really cool. Should be in one of my really old videos from about two years ago. Finally, we're getting back to where we can do some progress on the house. I know y'all see that. I bought all the interior doors I need. If you didn't know, I didn't have any doors inside the house other than the bathroom of course i didn't want steam from the shower to be going throughout the house and i'm sure when people come over they don't want to take a shit with no door there one for my closet my bedroom the guest bedroom which is my buddy's bedroom right now about a month ago he moved in with me i have yet to introduce y'all to him y'all meet him pretty soon yeah we also got an office door i've already installed it installed it last night this is badass man so for my office door when i built my office i filled it full of rock soil insulation which is like the soundproof and bullshit really high-end expensive shit also got soundproofing squares all inside of it so i bought an exterior door it's a full steel door made of metal so i mean it's not absolutely soundproof where you close it and you look through a window you would see somebody screaming and i hear it. it's not like that i would have to put glass or something like that to make it that way but i mean it's so soundproofed where i could go in my office close my door be three o'clock in the morning have somebody over sleeping in my bed i could be screaming at the top of my lungs playing my game live streaming whatever and they wouldn't be disturbed by it at all are y'all ready to see it i'm so excited to show y'all this come on in excuse the mess i'm a dirty dirty boy kitchen's pretty much done other than the trim i need to put on the window there i'm waiting until i buy a miter saw i don't want to just half-ass it and use a vibra cutter make it look like shit got bathroom pretty well done looks all right in there check this out brother <laughs> look at it oh it looks so good so y'all can probably hear the ac 
can't hear it no more. That's not even the best part, bro. Just in case I throw a party or something like that. Somebody wants to be slick, try to steal my expensive bullshit. Keypad lock on it. And it's an all metal door. So if they want to steal shit, they're gonna have to bust my wall down, something like that. But look at my code. <laughs> I'm tickled to death over it. It isn't completely soundproof, and I was also genetically gifted with very loud vocal cords, but uh, I'm gonna show y'all. See, so it's not bad. It's definitely not completely soundproof. Yeah, brothers, we got a door in the office now. You're looking smooth in here, babe. Damn good in here now. Looks so much more complete without just wood and two by four showing right there. We got the guest bedroom door to install. My bedroom door here, closet bedroom door. And yeah, we're gonna knock that out before anything. The house is very old, so I gotta do a lot of custom shit to make these doors work. Cut the framing and the doors at the bottom to make them fit, because nothing's square in this house. Also. One more thing I bought. I don't know if y'all ever noticed, but like where my flooring seams meet, I did this in the closet and my bedroom. There was like a gap where the flooring would change. I bought these little doohickeys here to cover up that gap. It looks a lot nicer. Yeah, I'm gonna fix my fat ass something to eat. And we're about to get started. Stupid, bro. Every damn door in this house just don't fit. It's some custom bullshit I'm gonna have to do. This one's not tall enough. Like, what the hell, man? That's what I did yesterday, my closet door. I just got my hammer. Whacked it back an entire half an inch. Then got torque screws and Yeah, man, I'm gonna have to cut this damn door too. Excuse my living room. I have bullshit all in it. Decapitated my foot. <laughs> Yay! Nice. Got to get this living room cleaned out, guys. It's stressing me out. Some shims on that side. Let's see how that looks. Oh yeah, a lot better. I don't find nothing wrong with it. Things away from the light switch. Can't ask for much more than that. It's so hot outside, man. While we're cutting up the other door, we're gonna go ahead and slap my baby on charge. Oh, that nostalgic smell. It was like high school and beer. Why? What was the purpose of it? It's probably gonna fall and kill me. Yep. Oh yeah. Yep. Ten volts. That ain't bad. Now we can cut this door up and try our best not to make it look like Boo's door off Monsters Inc. Mm, yep. No. It's all. Double measure that frame, make sure I got the right measurement in my head. I say she'll work, bub. Before I continue, little announcement. Damn haircut makes me look like my meme all. The Redneck Supreme shirt over at my website, rntvshop.com, has officially been discontinued. They're all gone, so we're not making them anymore. We came out with a new design. Hasn't arrived in the mail yet. That is the RNTV Gym shirt. See, like it's the Gold's Gym logo, but instead of Gold's Gym, it says RNTV's Gym. Instead of a guy lifting the barbell, it's a bull. You know what I'm saying? I think that shirt is absolutely sick. Shout out to my boy King Kong for giving me the idea. But yeah, make sure y'all go check that shirt out. Link will be in the description below. Slap this door in. All right, this one's gonna be some silly shit. This wall is eight inches thick. So yeah, we're just gonna butt it up with this wall here. And then right here, we'll get maybe a quarter inch piece of plywood, screw it down, paint it up to match, slap a trim on, it should look all right. <clears throat> This 
side. Trim's gonna cover it up nice. But here, I have to get some half inch pieces of wood, screw those up here, paint them white so they're so they match up. This side isn't near as thick as that side. This whole house is just out of whack. We'll make it look good. Hell yeah, man, she closes. Big achievement considering how wacky this framing is. It's not a door you'd particularly want to slam the piss out of. I'm happy with it. Yes! We haven't eaten anything today, so we're gonna get our grub on. Fermented garlic cloves. I hate this fucking camera. Got three meatballs to deal with. This is just a bunch of pasta. I ate all the meatballs out of it. Damn, dude, it's so bright. I can't even look at the camera. Yeah, bro, these really ain't my style. When I looked in the mirror when I put these shades on, only thing I can hear is tss, tss, tss. <laughs> These shades don't even have a name. Their brand is just tss. All right, bad bitch has been charging. She better have enough to crank by now. That's gonna start an argument between me and her. Yeah, we're gonna start it up and we're gonna back it as far as we can into the garage, which will probably be up to the roof, I'd imagine. You got it, baby. Uh oh. Why is he doing that? so tall. That's what she said. <laughs> she never said that. <laughs> Wait till my garage is cleaned up, organized, start parking my cars and trucks in there. It's probably fit three in there, no problem. If I get off my fat, lazy ass and do something, I guess I gotta plug this battery in. Let me let it charge for a little bit. Check this out. Dude, I hate this fucking camera. Gosh, it won't focus. So fucking stupid. It's hot, makes me angry. First, we're gonna talk about up under here. Hood struts, we're never gonna buy those. All you have to do is use a wrench to prop it up. Ouch! Stepped on a fat piece of glass, brother. Put it on autofocus so I can get mad when my camera starts getting blurry. See, why buy hood strips? Up under here, not really much to do at all. We, of course, need a new air filter. This air filter right here, I don't know if y'all remember a long time ago. Y'all remember the... <laughs> that extremely old meme from like five five years ago. Yeah, when I changed and put this cold air intake on, same air filter from that long ago. It has been through hell and back. Why am I still using this? I don't know. And there's two or three sensors that we have to change. One of them is the knock sensor or crank sense, some, something important. I can't remember off the top of my head. You have to take the intake and everything else off. It's up under everything. 
We're gonna change it. I've already bought the sensors that I need. They're sitting in the back of my truck, but for some reason I never got around to changing those. Bought them like a year and a half, two years ago. Ended up never changing them. So I just had my OB2 scanner plugged in at all times. Now just keep spam erasing the codes. Quite idiotic, I know. But aside from that, we got rear differential is perfect. We did that ourselves. Y'all should watch that video. It's quite impressive that I figured that shit out. Front diff, completely tarnished. We're actually gonna need a new housing. We already have the 513 gear ratios to match the rear end. Got the pinion, bearings, all that good stuff. We just need a new housing for it. Hope to God, the meth head that's been stealing fucking shit all out of my garage for the past year that I wasn't living here didn't steal my brand new CV axle. Probably did, and I'm so pissed, dude. If I find out who's been stealing shit, I'm gonna put $3,000 worth of damage onto your body, because that's about the amount of money y'all stolen from me if not more i ain't even gonna talk about the shit that was stolen pisses me off every time i think about it Ooh, fuck why why thieve man i've had so many opportunities in my life to steal nice shit and it's crossed my mind and i'm like no that's not right it's not mine and i would feel so guilty for taking something that isn't mine knowing how it'd make that other person feel so why the hell is there some piece of shit that has no remorse for their actions think it's okay to grab something oh yeah I'm just gonna take this. <laughs> Mine now. Motherfucker, I bet you wouldn't do that if I'm watching you! Fuck! Sorry. Excuse me, I just had a little bit of natty rage. All right, so let's look up under the baby. Biggest problem, and the main reason we're not driving it on the road, because this right here. Y'all seen how it took so long for the tranny to kick in? Uh, y'all ain't even gonna be able to see that shit anyway. Oh, it's so hot out here, man. But the transmission, y'all seen, I changed that back in December. Absolutely did that for no reason at all. The brand new transmission I just bought, what happened is the bell housing, where it connects to the extension collar, it snapped on me. The lighting is fucking with my autofocus. So the top, the back of the transmission, broken off. I tried to JB weld the old one. I don't think I let it cure long enough because I was a scrawny, impatient retard. But this time, I'm gonna absolutely lather it with the most expensive JB weld type shit I can find. Lather the extension collar in it as well. And yeah, that'll fix the transmission leak. What's happening is, even when I just pulled it into the garage, just started pissing out transmission fluid, man. It's just leaking right out the top because there's just an open hole on my transmission, pretty much. So it's making it where it's just always low on fluid. If I was to daily drive this thing, I would probably go through big gallon jugs of transmission fluid per day. Absolutely not worth it, especially getting four miles of the gallon on it. If that doesn't work, we're gonna have the transmission welded. Maybe get a beefier transmission one of these days. I wanna keep the 4.6 that's in it just for nostalgia reasons. Beef it up as much as I can. See if we can't be the first American to send a piston rod to the moon. The extension collar keeps cracking on me. I might end up having to get a billet one if the JB weld method doesn't work. The JB weld method is just to get her back on the road. New tires for sure. I'm wanting to get Interco boggers. I got 38s on it now. I'll just get 38 inch boggers. No, I'm not getting more lift on it. I've already maxed out on lift for F-150 unless I got something crazy expensive and custom. Three inch body lift, five inch suspension lift. It's the biggest you can get on the market for a 97 to 03 four by four. Check this plan out, brother. So I wanna get a wrap on this truck just because this is my baby. This truck is pretty much like a statue at this point. I drive it around, people notice me just because all the trailer videos with it. Of course, I'm gonna get a new door. I just want the wrap to be mainly black, the background fucking camera. Why was this thing $3,500? Why did it cost that much? Use my fucking iPhone. Y'all some give y'all the height advantage. But I want a black wrap on it and on the wrap, it's gonna be cool. You know how my office is black and red theme, right? I got black and red undertone on my truck. I spray painted the frame that way. I got red trim on the inside of my truck. So it's gonna match everything. And then imagine like claw marks kind of, but like really big ones and it's just three of them and it's going down and it looks like it's torn open. On the inside, it's red. It looks like the black's torn open. Gonna have my logo on it, RNTV. Have a few of the, the classic MTV, RNTV logos. Instead of the Ford emblem being there, it'll say RNTV like that. That'll be sick. And then you know how on people's back glass, they have 
daddy's money. Mine's going to say YouTube money. It's going to be sick, man. And actually, that was my dream all along since I've got this truck. To have black with red. One of these days, this truck is going to look like that. I also have big plans for my F-250. Y'all want me to talk about that in some video? Just let me know. I can actually do a lot more to that with lift and whatnot because there's more available for it. So yeah, if y'all want to hear about that, make sure y'all let me know in the comments. But yeah, brothers, that's pretty much all we... Nope. We gotta do something else. Go ahead and do it right now. Can't believe I've left this on there that long. Fuck my jug. Hey, that's gonna take fucking forever, and it is 500 degrees. I'm not doing that right now. I'd say we could get this truck running in one video. Expect my Ford is running again or some shit. Take it out somewhere with some mud. I planned on working on the Ford today on today's video, but I want to go into town and do some shit. Live out in the middle of fucking nowhere where there's nothing to do. I want to actually have a life every now and again. I've noticed that I don't think my videos are as good as they should be. So if I continue to feel that way, I think I'm going to drop the video schedule down to once a week because quality is definitely a lot more important than quantity either that or i just need to get my ass in gear and actually record every day then make those two videos out of all the footage i get actually spend an entire day editing instead of trying to rush through it like i did today we're just now starting grinding like this the first time ever bear with me i really hope you all enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you let me know leaving this video with a fat thumbs up let's let's get a like goal on this video let's try to get 5,000 likes can we hit that also if you haven't already hit the subscribe button coming close to half a milli subscribers we're gonna do some Something insane for that milestone. Not gonna tell y'all what it is yet. Thank y'all for watching. I love y'all. No homo. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.